Hello everyone, welcome back to the campaign and to the channel. So this will be the last uh, end phase and setup phase for the campaign because uh, we're going into round five now. So there will be a half time while we uh, rejig our forces, um, but um, we're into the final 12 games now. Um, allies really have to up it for the final round, uh, hopefully uh, sneak a win or maybe even a draw, but we'll see. Um, so game availability when this video finally goes out because we've got a backlog of videos these games are probably already going to be done um but look out for their um setup for uh round five part two and uh and there may be some games left available there but hopefully bathgate will uh, be doing uh, the bulk of these games now but i did do three games this round um so um obviously half the games for for part a uh, b sorry um, so there we go. So what you'll see now is um, the um, scores from the round, where they happened, what happened, and then we'll go to uh, reserves, exploitations, airdrops, strategic moves, and then the uh, round five part A battles. Okay, everyone, round four is done, so we'll go over the results. So battle one was at uh, Benary Road. Um, British were attacking and won a 6-3 victory and have taken the road, no casualties. Uh, battle number two, Allies attacking and retaking Sunbridge with a 7-2 victory, no casualties. Game three, the Germans attacked Grossbeck Heights with a 6-3 German victory, it came at a cost because their tank unit was destroyed. Sextons remain and fell back to Boxmere Bridge. Battle four, at Grave Bridge, a 6-3 German victory, no casualties either side, but they do have the bridge back. Game 5, Uden Road, the Germans were attacking, but the British had an 8-1 victory. No Firestorm units were involved, so no casualties. And then the final battle at Elst Road. Where is Elst Road? Oh, Elst Road up here. The paratroopers attacked with an 8-1 British victory and they um, destroyed the Firestorm unit in the process. And uh, so yeah, they went back somewhere else and they have taken the bridge. But supply lines aren't cut at the moment because Grosbeck and Wilder Road are intact for now. Okay, so first phase um, in the inter-turn uh, sequence is the airdrops. So... Um, the Allies had four drops available, two were allocated to bring in an extra Typhoon flight. So the remainder of the Ally um, paratroopers and glider troops have been dropped in at DZT and LZT respectively, and they come in with their two supply drops. Again, the Allies have gone for blockading Vessel and Appledorn with their Typhoons. Both have been successful. So I'm going to send this over to Tom because he has one air mission he can put Anyway, that he controls on the table, um, so we'll see where he goes with that next. Uh, to confirm, uh, Tom put his aircraft on Eid Road to stop another exploitation. Exploitation from the Allies. Um, the paratroopers here went from DZX to Usterbeck. Um, Grusbeck Heights and Wilder Road have been taken back, and the Reichswald has gone as well, and Sun Forest has been exploited as well. What the Germans can do for their exploitations, uh, can't do anything here because because of that they're now out of supply so cannot move on to Uden Road. Um, so it will be down to strategic moves. So in terms of reserves from v Vessel, uh, which is here, is blocked. Uh, Apple Dawn, oh, there's two German tank units coming from Apple Dawn are blocked. And then Amsterdam, we have a security unit. So they can obviously come all the way down to Arnhem Bridge uh, to help out there. So it's down to strategic move now, gentlemen. Allied strategic moves. So some reserves have come in. So basically kind of back where they started. So the 11th Armoured is on Vocal Road. And a guard, a, the Saxon unit is back on Boxmere. Um, as you can see, the Allies uh, exploited into Sun Forest to stop any sneak attacks. Uh, a guard unit has been moved onto Vagal Bridge, and the Sextons and um, 25 pounders 
uh, have Ooh. gone onto Villa Mella Canal Bridge, Ooh. and another unit of paratroopers has moved onto Elst Road. So now we will look at the German expo um, strategic moves. A fair bit of movement from uh, the Germans, so a lot of stuff from here. So Tilburg, Helvoet, Best Road have moved to Vaught, Schertenbosch, and a lot has moved to Arnhem Bridge. So basically, four units in Arnhem Bridge, and stuff has left Nijmegen to go to Nijmegen Bridge, and that is it for German strategic moves. Okay, so here follows the first half of round five. So, game one is Boxmere Bridge to Masval Canal, British attacking uh, with uh, their five storm unit of three Shermans and one Firefly and four Saxtons. The Germans have one eighty-eight and two two centimeters. This is a bridge defense unit. It is confident with a five plus star stand, trained with a six plus assault and aggressive. Um, morale is reduced in this area due to being out of supply, which means they have to re-roll successful morale rolls. Battle 2, the British are attacking Grave Bridge with three Cromwells and one Challenger in a unit and four Saxtons. The Germans have um, seven SS Armoured Panzer Grenadiers with Panzerfaust, four half tracks with a ninth SS um, Command Card. Sorry there. And we also have uh, 10 Falschermäger with um, Panzerfausts. Um, at this um, bridge as well is also forced to re-roll morale rolls as well. Uh, game 3 is Nijmegen Bridge. Um, sorry. I should be there. So British attacking uh, with American paratroopers, which is seven paratroopers, one bazooka, one mortar, and they also have four uh, pack howitzers with them as well. Um, there are no German firestorm units and there's no effect on the uh, outer supply. Game four, um, Elstrode is under attack from Arnhem by the Germans. The Germans have... Um, 10 Falschermäger with Panzerfausts. And they also have seven grenadier, uh, grenadier units, and uh, no Panzerfaust for them. The British have uh, two units of seven British paratroopers with Piats. Game five is over to Schirtenbosch. Uh, so the British are attacking with three Cromwells with one Firefly and American glider units, which is ten. Uh, teams with bazooka, an LMG and a mortar. The Germans have, again, seven SS armoured Panzer Grenadiers with Panzerfaust and four half-tracks with a 9th SS Panzer Division and three Jag Panzer IVs. And the final battle is over at Usterbeck. Um, Germans attacking with Stuka support against a British uh, paratrooper unit of seven para teams and a Piat. And that is it. So hopefully, um, well, basically, Tom and Lucas, I'll be taking Elst Road because since I took it last round, I want to hold on to it. So I'll be playing that one. The rest of it is um, for you guys. Okay, so here is the strategic overview map. As always, green are the Allied Firestorm units, amber is Allied controlled areas, and red are German Firestorm units. Everything else is German control. Um, so this is uh, after strategic phase, so this is how everything is looking as we go into the round. I will update it again at half time so we can see what has uh, moved and what not, and then one final time at the end of the game to see how it is. But the most important thing will be the score uh, at the end of the game, but we do have uh, round four score coming up. Not looking great for the Allies, but they did lose a 20-pointer, but the thing is, um, it's all down to the bridges now.